Crazy times, time for a crazy story. Last summer, I went inner tubing with my wife and three young kids. About an hour into a three hour trip, I realized that the cell phones that I had wrapped up in a plastic bag within another plastic bag were no longer with us. I told my wife she was none too happy about it. I was none too happy about it. I decided to pop off that inner tube and I told her, I'm heading upstream, I'm gonna find those phones. My kids looked at me like I was absolutely crazy and said, what are you doing? I said, I'm gonna find those phones. So I start walking up this river. Now, walking up a river is not like inner tubing or walking on you know, the side of the road. It's slippery. So all along the way, I kept slipping and going ahead and falling into the water and getting covered with this, well, river ooze, if you want to call it that. So as I'm walking up the river, I kept having all these boats pass me. You'd have kayaks, canoes, inner tubes, and each one would look at me like I was kind of crazy, but always ask, you know, are you okay? And I would explain, well, I'm looking for cell phones that somewhere dropped off the inner tube. Have you found anything? And each one of them would say like, no, and kind of laugh at me or just kind of like look at me like really strange, like what the hell are you doing? But sure enough, I kept going and going and going. When I started approaching towards the point, the pier, uh, where we went ahead and jumped off or went with the inner tubes and started off, I came across a boat and I asked him the same thing. I said, you know, have you found anything? And the guy goes, aha, goes ahead and reaches into his cooler and pulls out the bag of cell phones. Now, at that point, I was extremely happy because I just instantly became a legend in my family for finding phones in this whole river that were lost. I mean, that's basically impossible to do in a river to find. But also what I started to think is that there's a lot of lessons in this story. Why am I saying this today of all days during all this stuff that's going on? Well, when you're up the river, quite literally, without a paddle, know this, okay? What you look for, you find. Let me say that again. What you look for, you find. Extremely relevant right now. Look for the good, you're going to find the good. Look for solutions, you'll find solutions. Look for opportunity, you will find opportunity. You make your own luck during these times. Not by letting the fear get to you. Not by letting the pandemic get to you. Not by letting the odds get to you. Odds are meaningless. When odds are against you, whether it's a hundred to one, a thousand to one, a million to one, know this, you're the one. The other million, the other million, they don't show up because they don't walk up the river without a paddle. By going after what you want, that simple action, that simple action of jumping out of the boat and moving against the river, that sets you apart immediately and ready for it, puts the odds in your favor. Look for the good, look for solutions, look for opportunity and make your own luck.